Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Pokemon Sword and Shield. I want to oh, start this off with open, with, oh my god, can I speak? I want to start this off with my box open because I did go and catch an Applin. I want this man on our team. He's on the same route that uh, we got Toxel, like that little daycare area. That's where you can find him in the grass. Uh, it's not going to be an overworld encounter, it's a 10% chance in the grass. So, um, yeah. Toxel, I think, evolves at 30. Cerebi has started updating everything because today is the 14th, and a lot of people have got their hands on the game now. And I guess Cerebi or Joe Merrick, whatever, they've gotten their game, so uh, they have been updating Cerebi quite a bit. And I saw that Toxel evolves at 30, and Aracuda evolves at 26. Meowth, I think, is at 28 or something. I'm not really sure. Um, and I don't know about Applin. I know that he needs an item. I, I think he needs an item at least I I really don't know uh, and before we start off this little gym challenge because you know it's the first thing that we're gonna do at the start of this video uh, I just want to thank everyone who's been uh, sitting with us and enjoying the series it's, it's so far it's like one of the best uh, series on my channel right now or like in terms of like s statistics uh, it's doing really really well so uh, I'm just glad that everyone's been enjoying it and we're gonna battle this guy uh, I know that you need a candy to evolve um, whatever the cream thing is called, not alchemy, uh, mil mil milsery. Yeah, to evolve milsery, you actually need a candy, and then you need to um, you need to uh, do the little spin thing in the overworld, which I think is really funny. Uh, I don't know how to get the candy yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, we don't even have a milsery, so it doesn't really matter too much. But I love Toxel. He's so fucking cute. I, I also I know I've been saying cute a lot. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I think a lot of the Pokemon in this game are, are really really adorable. He's not uh, very strong, not yet. Maybe when he evolves, you know, in like six more levels, he'll be a fucking powerhouse. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but we're obviously just gonna keep using this. I'm really really excited to continue our journey today granted I'm going to I'm uploading part 7 right now I uploaded part 6 at like 7 in the morning I think so we're gonna upload part 7 probably around 12 and then I'm going to render this one while I have class because I have class at um I got class at 12:30, and so I'm gonna render this and then when I get back I'm gonna upload this one probably around 4 4 or 5 so hope you guys have been enjoying if you are you know smash like that shit would be greatly appreciated. And if you are new, hit subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know every single time that I upload. Because I, this Sword and Shield series, bro, I'm going crazy. I'm uploading constantly throughout the day. So here's a treat. We got a Satchet, which I know you can use to evolve, um, uh, not Swirlix, but uh, Spritzy, right? Right? Maybe I have this backwards, actually. I don't know. I also want to go and check on our Pokemon that we sent out yesterday because I didn't go and uh, collect the rewards because I didn't want to do that. That would be a little bit unfair. So let's check the Poke Jobs real quick. Uh, that new badge of yours to open the door to some new jobs. Hey, nice. So there are new jobs posting. So these Pokemon should be coming back, right? No? Oh, five hours left. Okay, so no, they're not. Um, do we send out Applin? Nah, we'll, we'll keep Applin. Um, okay, I thought that would have been done by now. But I guess it, it literally takes 24 hours. See, when I read it, I thought maybe that they would have just set it up to where it uh, actually just does until the end of the day. Because it says, you know, like for the day or something. So, I guess it is 24 hours. And maybe we should have healed. We definitely should have healed. I'm thinking of replacing Meowth with our Applin. Because I think Applin's going to be really cool. But then I think I'm going to end up replacing Applin for the pseudo-legendary when we get the chance to get one of those. So, because I don't really need two dragons on the team. And Steel-type, if we have Toxel on the team, I guess we don't really need a Steel-type either. Because uh, I think we'd only really be using the Steel for the um, Fairy weakness that we kind of have. Like, we don't really have anyone that's good against Fairy. Except for Toxel. So if we keep Toxel on the team, which I, I do kind of want to do. I don't know which one we're going to get. I, I don't know if you guys know, but Toxel, when it evolves, it has two different forms. 
and um, I, I'm gonna assume it has to do with the ability that it has and with us having the one that has um, what ability does he have again uh, rattled I, I think we're gonna get the uh, the purple one and not the total Chad one which I kind of want the Chad one I was on fire in my battle against that Kabu. Okay, that's that's nice. I thought I really thought he was gonna say more than that. We don't have too many challengers since our leader Kabu has made his gym mission so hard, but I'll be happy to get you registered at once. Yes, I am 1000% ready. If you're here to challenge our gym, we'll ask you to change. Into, yeah, you know, just the usual. They always send us out. Go, go and uh, change. So I guess I should ask a question of the day, but I haven't really thought of one. So. I'll think of one within the next uh, hour, I promise. You may find that the Fire Gym's mission is a bit different from the other ones that you faced. In you go. Uh, I... Uh... Like, how much different could it be? Oh. Wait, what? What is this? What is this? I I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm very curious. What, what is this, uh, what is this challenge that we have here? The gym mission for the fire gym is this, catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn 5 points to clear the gym's mission. If you, In case that you were wondering, you'll earn 1 point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass, or 2 points for catching one. But you won't be alone in this competition, other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Okay, so... Fuck, we gotta catch a Pokemon that I don't really want. That kinda sucks. Oh wait, you know what? We'll we'll catch uh Sizzillopede. <gasps> you have a Salazzle or Sound it, Sound it, sorry. I love Sound it, so cute. Alright, so I'm gonna try and catch you. I didn't think that it would actually be like the other trainer is next to you and potentially trying to kill the the mon Oh my god, Toxel! Good lord. Baby! <laughs> Could not live a hit at all. Holy shit. Alright, I guess we're going into Aracuda. Good lord. Uh, I guess my question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite type of Pokemon? Me personally, I do like Poison. I also like Electric. I'm a big fan of Dark and Dragon. Those, those are like my top four uh, types. So, in case you were wondering, those, those, those are my picks. Damn, what's good with the Salandit? You're attacking me? Wait, are you attacking me, you fuck? Oh, he is! Okay. Fuck you, Salandit. Let's get you out of here. Yeah, how you like that? You better not have any more Pokemon. That better be your only Pokemon. Damn, I didn't think he'd be attacking me. What a, f what a cuck. Right? Who, who would have guessed? I mean, I guess it makes sense. They're kind of against you. But, like... I wasn't expecting it. I don't know. I thought I thought it was like a competition to see who's going to catch the Pokemon or who's going to defeat the Pokemon. But I guess since I knocked them out, it doesn't even really matter. I could just do whatever I want to this Mon. I'm getting fucked by this uh, Sizzlepeed. S Sizzlepeed? This thing is actually just, like, destroying me. I am genuinely, like surprised by its strength i know i'm a dark type so obviously I'd like probably shouldn't have switched into him i just don't want to kill it i want to catch it so i'm like trying not to kill it i hope i get healed i know i'm not going to i hope i do though knowing that i won't <laughs> all right we're gonna do a double kick because again i'm not trying to kill it i want to catch it so there's one there's two we well, can probably do that again and then try to catch it but goddamn, this man is actually just bodying our whole entire team. This bug is a little bit stronger than I thought he would be. And his evolution's not bad. I would use one uh, if we didn't have, you know, Raboot on the team. So let's throw a Pokeball and maybe catch it. And I, I don't know. Uh, we're not going to use it, but it's good to have in the in the PC, I guess. So Sword and Shield is officially out. I know I kind of mentioned this earlier with the whole entire like Cerebi thing, um, but it's officially out. You know, out, out in Australia, out in Japan, uh, the UK people they have the game already. A lot of them do at least because the they bought from a place that sends it early because they're 
five heads, you know, Giga Brain uh, decisions right there. All right, we need to heal. That's some fuckery. That <laughs> what just happened is fuck. We don't even have. Oh no, we don't even have like super potions really. We can't let Aracuda die. That's for sure. So um, since we're gonna probably be using Aracuda, I'll put in Corvus Squire, and I think we can just like. So there's only two more, two more people, right? So if we catch one and then kill one, like that's all we really have to do. What, like, what's good with this Vulpix in the Overworld? I feel like the the centipede thing that I fought wasn't in the Overworld. I thought it was just like in the grass. All right, so oh, of course, a rock type. What? Why? Why? Man, I sent out I sent out my mon hoping not to get fucked by a Roly Coley. You suck. You actually suck. Is this gonna be like? Yeah, it's not very effective, of course. Power trip is gonna be neutral, so we're gonna go for a home clause and just hope that we don't get fucked. And then I'm going to destroy the Roly Coley because I know he's gonna try to kill me in one hit. So assuming I don't get killed by the by the Vulpix and the Roly Coley, Steam Engine. Wow. So it's fire or water moves that will um, increase its speed. That's that's impressive. I gotta say that's that's impressive. I like that ability. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually not bad. And it apparently boosts the speed like a significant amount because he's faster than everyone now. <laughs> Which is crazy. This this little rock thing is faster than everyone. Why did he faint? What did he get hit by? What the fuck just happened? Why did that man did it, did I hit him? Oh, we got a whole another mon. You know what? It's cool. Do I get XP if I kill the Growlithe? I don't know if I... I wasn't paying attention. I don't think I did. We're well, just gonna kill the Vulpix then. Fuck this shit. Oh, but what if what if he ends up being the one who K... Oh, no. Is he gonna get the point? Oh, my God. He's gonna get the point, right? Because he, he's the one who technically KO'd it. We're you gonna end this thing with a knot? Huh? Who got the points? Alright, nobody. I'm the only one getting points here, I guess. Damn, we should have bought more potions. This is not... Not going well. Alright, that's all I gotta say. So, here. Let me find another mod in here. Ooh, ooh. Hit him, hit him. Yeah! Alright, where's the next mod? Oh my god, is there not gonna be another one? Like over here, I'm like, I'm like doing the the little crouch thing, which makes me think, yeah, there's a mon over here. Okay, it's gonna be this, the centipede again. I, I, this time we're not playing games. I am going to, I guess I gotta catch it, but we gotta make sure that we kill the sound at first because the sound it, it's kind of a dick, right? Right? I mean, last time he was attacking me. He did it again, dude. You're playing. You're playing fucking dirty. I'm the only one who should be able to attack you. Yeah. See, he knows what's up. Even even, even the centipede knows what's up. Goodbye. Stupid. I feel bad doing that. I actually, like sounded a lot. But it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Hit the centipede. Whoopsies. It failed because I tried hitting my a teammate who doesn't even have a mon. You know, I thought it would have just like auto corrected itself to the sizzle P. Like, you know how like if the enemy there's two Pokemon, but there's not one next to it because you already killed it, and then you go after that same spot, that it would still go after the Mon. You know, I, that's what I thought would have happened there, but apparently not. Apparently not. All right, so we got one point. I'm assuming the the centipede's still gonna be here, right? Somewhere. Somewhere. Right. 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 No? Hello? We have to catch the next Mon if he's not going to appear in here. Which I don't really want to catch it. What is this? What is it? A Litwick? We got to catch a Litwick? That's fine. We'll do it. We'll do it. I said I was only going to catch like new Mons, but I clearly 
in this situation, I cannot really choose um, what I catch. We're gonna kill the centipede though, because I know he's gonna fuck some shit up. He's a bug type, you know. He might, he might OHKO the Litwick. Using hex, that's fine. Whoa. Does does my teammate, enemy, ally, do they have another mon? Of course they do. Like why wouldn't they? Can I see how many mons you have? No, I, d I don't think I can. So we're just gonna keep attacking. Poison Fang? Fuck you. Fuck that stupid Salandit. Also, I noticed in the last, like, three videos, I think. Um, I think it was five to seven. So yeah, like the last three videos, um, I noticed my audio was cracking for some reason. I did like a 20 second test before uh, recording today in hopes of like I would hear if it was gonna crack. And it, it wasn't, so I'm hoping uh, that this audio also is not going to crack. Fingers crossed. Because I know if I was like a viewer and I heard that, I would be so annoyed. But there was nothing I could do about it, unfortunately. So, um... I just want to, I guess, apologize now in video <laughs> for that. Uh, I know that I said something at the beginning of every video uh, in like a text thing, but I feel like I should say something now as well. Does Hex, does it, does it also do more like the double damage if you are confused? I don't think so. I feel like it's only um, if you're like a status, like burned, poisoned, paralyzed. That type of shit. Hey, we got the Litwick. Cool. Now we're just totally fucked though. Because this stupid gym test makes me catch Pokemon. Which takes so much longer than just defeating your enemy, by the way. I don't know if you know that. It takes like infinitely longer. Oh my god, don't tell me there's another one. Clearing leader Kabu's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried now. <laughs> we, we're missing like half of our fucking team. Um, so I'm gonna bring back Corvus Squire. And we're gonna use a... Do we have anything to heal other than... No, I guess we just gotta use a super potion. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna use that on you. Now, I don't really want to start out... Actually, no, wait, no, 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 we are gonna start out with you. We're gonna start out with Corvus Squire. Because there's potential there to just destroy just body the gym oh, i forgot to take a screenshot but it's all good we're gonna do it we're gonna do it don't worry oh he's next to us like a fucking ninja didn't even expect him damn i hope nobody gets mad when i use this as the oh that was probably not the best time to take it i think half of his head was missing there we'll take that one boom i'm sure people are gonna be mad well maybe somebody will i don't know I don't know, are gym leaders really considered spoilers? Like, I guess they are, but it's not really like, I don't know, you see it like in the first hour. No, probably like the first two hours. Welcome, I am Kabu, the fire gym leader. The fact that you are here means that you've bested both Milo's grass type Pokemon and Nessa's water types as well. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means that your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is about to unleash or is able to unleash their true potential. Bro, just fight me already. You really aren't going to be that strong, I don't think. Now, he probably is a Roly Coley, which I hope he doesn't lead with. Cuz if he if he leads with the Roly Coley, then we're kind of fucked. All right, you got nine tails. That's fine. We're not part. We're not part steel yet, so you know we can we can fight. We can fight a fire type. No big deal. <laughs> so let's let's see what happens here. Uh, we could do power trip a few times and then just or we could do home claws a few times and then hope to sweep with power trip, which is the ultimate play in this game. In case you don't know, it's just insane uh, what you can do. Did you just will o wisp me? All right. I see how this is gonna go. Uh, I'm assuming you have Hex. I'm gonna assume you have Hex, which makes me want to heal this burn immediately. Do we have a burn heal? We do. We got three of them. All right, we're gonna see. We're gonna see if he if he has Hex. I feel like he will. 
Fire spin. Okay, no, he doesn't. And fire spin boosts. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. I thought I read that fire spin boosts the speed stat or something now. Alright, we're gonna do home claws. Oh, wait, we can't heal. I just realized that. We cannot heal anymore. So, we need to end this, like, next turn. We need to. We need to, uh, start doing. Oh, I think we're dead, actually. If I don't. If I can't heal, we're dead. If I can heal, we are Gucci. Uh, what do we have here? We got energy root 120. Fully restores the max HP of a Deadmon. Uh, 60 HP. And now I know Pokemon don't really like it when you give them the powder, but we don't really have a choice here. <laughs> You're gonna have to deal with the powder, Corvus Squire. You, you just gotta deal with it for now. All right, so we're gonna hit him with the the um fuck. What is it called again? The the the, 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 the uh, power trip. There we go. Is this gonna sweep? I don't know if it will. At this level, I don't know if it'll sweep. But previously, this was the ultimate combo, hitting like just two of the um. Oh, that's not. Oh my god, that did nothing. Oh my god, that did nothing. Damn. All right, I thought that would do a little bit more damage. <laughs> a little bit more damage than that. Oh shit. I should have just leered it. At this rate, I should have leered it. Alright. Alright, let's see. Let's see. His nine is a little bit more bulky than I thought it would be. And Rabu... I don't know. We'll use Aracuda. We're going to hope that we're faster. We're going to dive. And just hope for the best. We're going to evolve literally next turn. I should have used a rare candy. If we if we lose to a nine tails, I'm going to cry. Oh, we, we were also burnt. Which means that our damage just did not do much. I just realized that. <laughs> it's so funny when they dive and they're not in the water, which makes absolutely no sense. Let's see how much this does. Oh, not enough, but with an Aqua Jet, we might be able to finish him off. Let's see. Let's see. Is that enough? Hey, my man Aracuda coming clutch. All right, what's next? What's next? What do you have next? It's going to be it's going to be the stupid roly coly thing, right? Arcanine. Damn. My man got all the the Kanto Firestone Evolution Mons on his squad. And you have Intimidate, which is so, so sick, dude. Alright, we're gonna switch into Meowth and he's gonna die, but it's cool. It's cool. I I really don't mind that he's gonna die. It's kind of just like we're sending him out as a sacrifice to like switch into another Mon. Bite? Oh no, we live that. We live that. Alright, so we need to heal up on... Now, we could use a Max Revive on Corvus Squire. I just don't know if that's really, like, worth doing. We could use a regular Revive on him and maybe do something. I don't know. Ar Arcanine's pretty fast, if I remember correctly. And maybe I don't. Maybe he's slow as shit. Let's see. I kind of fucked up here. I should have bought more potions or something. Hmm. I think we're gonna end up using the max revive on Aracuda. So we're gonna give him a berry to get him almost at max health. Meowth's definitely gonna get hit with a fire type move and die here. Flame wheel, sick. Very sick. All right, we switch in, we switch in into Aracuda. We're gonna, we're gonna go for a dive. I'm gonna hope that we can, we can live with a dive. Uh, definitely, again, regretting the fact that I did not buy any super potions at all. Will-O-Wisp, you suck. You suck. I hate you. Why do you have to burn me, man? That makes shit so much more annoying. <laughs> Please, stop with the Will-O-Wisp. If that's a TM I get, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. Because I, I really don't want that move. This isn't going to do shit now because we're burned. So I'm going to use a burn heal, and then I'm going to regret it because he's probably just going to hit us with another Will-O-Wisp. Here, do we have... We have one Rostberry. I don't really want to use it then. I should have I given him something, like a Rostberry to hold, I guess. I, I don't know why I didn't think that he wouldn't have Will-O-Wisp. Now this makes me just want to use um, Aqua Jet, because I'm afraid I'm just going to get hit with, die, uh, with the Will-O-Wisp immediately. Let's see. Let's see if that's what he does. If not, I guess we're dead anyways. If he goes for a bite, we're probably dead. Yeah, he goes for the Will-O-Wisp. Super annoying strategy, man. Holy shit.
Cause it's not like the it's not like the burn is doing a lot. It's just it's being annoying. So we're gonna use the max revive after we die. Probably going to score bunny or something. Use it and then uh, go for a. I, if I say dive, he's gonna hit us with a will o wisp and then we won't actually do much. No, we're going into we're going into Raboot here, in hopes that just maybe he lives. I mean, I don't, I don't really see it happening, but maybe. Damn, I hate that I have to use all these items. I did not come in prepared, at all. <laughs> Holy shit! I don't know why. I assumed I had more. Uh, I, I assumed I had more super potions. Oh, agility. Okay. I'm not gonna switch immediately then. Rose sharply, which is not good. Uh, we'll hit him with a quick attack because otherwise he's probably just gonna oh, he's, he's just gonna kill us. So the bite annoying, but we live. And then we're just gonna do another quick attack. We're gonna hit him with an aqua jet, and then we fight the roly coly. Oh my god, we oh my champ! Holy shit! Aracuda evolving after this fight for sure. You have a Senta Scorch. Okay, I thought you were gonna have the the thing that you had inside the mines, but I guess not. I don't know if this is uh, the ideal switch then. Like that fire and get your mind moving, Kabu. There will still be a path to victory. We'll see about that. That's what he looks like when he evolves. He looks kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> somebody, somebody on, on my Discord said he looks like a, a fucking roll of condoms. And you know what? They're not wrong. <laughs> they are not wrong. There's some heavy rain that falls for five turns. I'm with that for sure. I like how um, they actually have different power depending on the power of the move. So, like for instance, Aqua Jet had 90, but Dive had like 120. Oh my god. God, he's got kind of like a Mega Rayquaza thing going on in the face area. I, I don't know. Kind of reminds me of Mega Rayquaza up there. Damn, are you fast? Is this is the Millipede fast? I don't know. I feel like they're not really like fast in real life, but he's seeming kind of kind of quick with it. But there we go. There's our uh, our Barracuda Mon. You're gonna make it rain. Your fire moves are gonna be dog shit. Do no damage whatsoever. So you better rely on. Bug bite. That's the only thing you can really do. Damn, we are gigantic. How do you gigantic max in this game? I need to know. Oh my god. What the fuck did you just hit me with? Special attack fell, that's fine. We use a max geyser on your ass. What did I get hit with though? Damn, now I kinda wish that I had like Aqua Jet. <laughs> Because we don't have any priority move and he doesn't his ability doesn't make him. Oh, it does. Oh It does we're good. We're good. We're faster now, right? Yeah, that's game over GG I, I was thinking damn do we have swift swim? We do and the rain boost and the damage for max geyser. Oh, dude That was a, that was a clutch clutch play. I'm so glad he lived that that move and now now he gonna now he gonna evolve at the end of this shit. We're gonna see what he looks like when he evolves. I actually don't remember what it looks like. I've obviously seen it because I've seen all the Pokemon, but I just don't remember. It is raining. I'm sorry, buddy. It, we we made it rain inside <laughs> inside your fire gym. A uh, great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. I do like that it, you can tell that it's raining even though it's like post battle. It's pretty sick. I mean, I guess now it's technically post battle. Hey, look at our man. He's going to be so much better. I feel like he's going to be so much stronger now. I'm really excited to see uh, the difference. Oh my god. He looks sick. How can you not like him? How can you not like Barascuda? Barascuda. I think it's Barascuda. He's so cool. This Pokemon has a jaw that is as sharp as a spear and as strong as steel. Apparently, Barascuda's flesh is surprisingly tasty too. Oh. Don't be eating my man. Don't like that. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talent surpasses my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. Yeah, you do, because I'm gonna be the next champion. Like, even though I forgot so many items to bring, I brought none. I still kicked your ass. 
I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad that I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. What's up? Give me that badge. My third badge. Hey, <laughs> we out here. Good lord, dude. My throat is killing me. It's just because I've been recording so much. Where's, where's my phone? I actually have no idea where my phone is, so I just have to keep a mental note. You know what? No, fuck it. We bring up notepad. We bring out notepad. It was like 30, 25. Something like that. There we go. No need for a mental note because I'm not going to remember it. <laughs> you can now catch Pokemon up to level 35. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Gala region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, that you also become something better. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. Hey, I like Kabu. I, I really do. He's such a wholesome guy. Baxter, I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Corvus, you and Corvus Squire would be the ones. But still, hey, why are you talking about Corvus Squire? Is he like my lead? Like, is he like the one in the front? I thought Ericuda was in the front. Why are you talking about my Corvus Squire? Are you talking about his Corvus Squire? I don't know, man. But still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat. Maybe it's Corvus Squire is like my highest leveled. Challenger Baxter, I see that you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the Grass, Water, and Fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate. Commemorate, commemorate. I'm I'm dumb. Okay, what you accomplished here today? Thank you, Will O' Wisp. Yeah, makes sense. He was spamming the fuck out of that move, and it was really really annoying. Uh, and take one of our uniforms in the same design as Kabu himself wears. I appreciate it, buddy. Though I'm not going to wear it because it's not. It's so stupid that you cannot wear them in the challenge. I think that you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you, starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back into the wild areas surrounding the city and make your way to Hammerlock. Alright, cool, cool. With all the badges that we've earned ourselves, I reckon that we should be alright, even against the fierce Pokemon that you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out ourselves. So, in case you guys don't know, I do like shiny hunting and the shiny hunting method has finally been leaked. It's been discovered. I'm gonna talk about it in a few seconds. Wait, okay, I, I don't know. I thought there was gonna be a cutscene there. What's up, Hop? Hurry up, Baxter. Bro, I'm literally two feet behind you. Calm down. It's Kabu. You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Oh, I bet that you can already tell that I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never managed to gather three gym badges. And they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Huh. Nessa, ma'am. Good lord. We made it. Thank goodness for the flying taxis. Baxter Hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing that you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to make a gym badge from or to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it. You can do it. All right. I, I love I loved the chant, man. It, it really it really hits, you know. Uh, the gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thank you all. We're going to keep winning. We've got it if we uh, we've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup after all. All right, man. Come on, Baxter. Let's head for Hammerlock. What type is Hammerlock going to be? I feel it, it sounds like it's going to be like a steel type. I didn't say I was ready to go to the wild area. I really did not. Maybe I had some shit I still wanted to do. Hello again, wild area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Yeah, man, this place was kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. Some of the levels, they were like, when we first got here, I think my levels were like 10 or less. And a lot of the Pokemon were like 15 and were just a huge, huge problem but now i could probably take them uh, no i could definitely take them we're like level almost 30 hammerlock is up that way got it yeah i see i see we gotta take that bridge and go over that way and yeah you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour but now that you and i have a few gym badges we should be able to catch stronger pokemon so i know what i'm doing i'll be catching myself some amazing pokemon to fill in the next page in my tale of my legend 
Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would even make it through the gym challenge anyways. Bede, you are a dickhead. I'm not going to lie. The champion really must be uh, must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems that Hop here can't even throw a poke. Bruh, don't, don't hate. My man's been practicing for years. Rubbish. More like you don't even know to recognize the greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine. I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on then. I know you challenged Baxter to battle in Galar Mine number 2 and lost to him there. And I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way that you're defeating me. Bro, I've beaten both of you. N neither of you beat, beat me once. I'm just going to keep it a keep it a stack and neither have you beat me once all this prattle about baxter and the champion and whatnot do you have anything of your own to show <laughs> damn b why you gonna hit him why you gonna hit him like that i'll show this wally my real skills in battle who are we looking at who the fuck are we hop left see you later baxter let's meet up in hammerlock when i'm through with them i uh i buddy can we watch? That would be kind of cool. I would like to see, like, I would like to see them fight. Where are you guys at? Well, since we're here, um, I obviously want to go and grab some of the watts because, you know, we haven't really done that. And we can't go in the water. I'm really not sure. Uh, I guess we just need to upgrade. I figured maybe you could if you, like, pressed B. But it doesn't seem to be the case. So we're just going to collect a few watts here, you know. We'll say what's up. Uh, we still haven't done one of these raids, and I'm pretty sure you can do them, like... What the fuck are you? I cannot even see what you are. Are you an Oddish? Oh yeah, as I was saying, the, the, shiny, the shiny thing has been revealed. So, how it works is basically, you have to fight... You have to battle 500 times to get the max odds, plus you need to get a chain of 25 minimum. To get a max odd of 33% with 6 rolls every time you encounter Pokemon. You're basically guaranteed a shiny at that chance it seems like. Because I mean, that's pretty insanely high odds. I would say that's like ridiculously high. Uh, I, I would almost argue that it's the highest that we've ever gotten. Um, so it's definitely worth like... Wait, what is, what is this? I see apples... Okay, maybe we use these on Applin to uh, evolve Applin. I'm a bit, I'm a bit curious about that one. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying though, uh, so yeah, it's pretty. It seems like really, 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 really high odds. Um, damn, I didn't want to battle you guys. So I don't know entirely. Uh, someone in my Discord is saying that you have to battle 500 of one Pokemon. So like that Pokemon, once you've battled it 500 times, and then your chain is of 25, that's when you have the max odds. Uh, the chain isn't a catching chain like it was in Let's Go. It's actually a battle chain. So I think you have to battle the Pokemon 25 times in a row, and then you will get um, the max odds from there. So, you don't really need 500. The 500 actually just raises it to the max amount of rolls. Um, 100 is still the max odds, but with less rolls. So, you really don't need 500. I think 33% each roll is pretty crazy. I think it's still... Um, I think at 100, it's like 2 or 3 rolls. And if you get a Shiny Charm, by the way, this adds 2 more rolls. Uh as well so you can really have 33 percent with eight rolls i'm not kidding when i say you're basically guaranteed to get a shiny if you if you try uh hunting like if you really try hunting you're basically guaranteed that shiny so i i, I fully believe that shiny hunting now is at an all-time like low or high i guess i don't know what the right term would be uh for just saying like it's the easiest like, it's literally, like, you, you should not have any struggle whatsoever when it comes to getting a shiny Pokemon anymore. Like, it's going to be a little bit tedious to get that 100 battles against one Pokemon. And then to get your chain to 25. Like, yeah, that's a bit tedious. But before, I think our chains, you know, let's go, it was 32. So, and by the time that you're done, like, playing the game, 
you've probably battled a good chunk of the Pokemon, um, a lot. I don't, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's a, probably like a hundred times each, like every Pokemon, definitely not. But some of the Pokemon you've probably battled a lot, <laughs> like a very, very high amount. I do want to check on, um, how much Watt we have, which I think you can do in the League card. If we look at our League card, it's really cool. Uh, it actually, if you look at the back, so if you flip the card, it shows you how many Pokemon you've caught, your Curry decks, and the shiny Pokemon that you found, which I'm really excited um, because now we can actually easily keep track of how many shiny Pokemon that you found. Now, I don't think it really means like how many you've caught. It might just be how many you've seen. But if you catch, if you see a shiny Pokemon and it's wild, you, you better catch that thing. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Why, why would you not catch it? I love when Tyrogue runs after me. It's the funniest shit in the world. So, I'm not really sure what we do with the fancy apple yet. I guess I could check Cerebi when I'm done recording and see um, if they've said anything about Applin and how it evolves. I do really want to use an Applin. I think Applin is a really cool mon. Alright, let's see. What do you have to say? That's a whole ass Steelix! Holy shit! Uh, is a Rotom Rally? A makeover? Improve my bike? Wait, I can make it for 1000 watts? The turbo boost will be faster? Yes! Hell yeah! No, I don't want to do the Rotom Rally. <laughs> 3000 watts this time. Okay, well we don't have that. We, we don't have the 3000. We could probably get it really soon. Um, but we don't we don't have it at the moment. Damn, dude, I did not expect to see a fucking Steelix out here in the wild area. We got bulldoze. I'll take those. I'll take those. I wonder if we can actually teach it to anyone. I should really see what moves um, we can teach at this point because I think we have a good chunk of it, TMs that we just aren't using. Okay, I was a little bit afraid that we're gonna catch a we're gonna run into a wild Pokemon while doing that. <laughs> So I think when we go to these ones with the with the light, they give you about 300. Then there's a lot of items out here. So the little ones without the light. Oh, leftovers. Hey. Oh wait, also I wanted to see. Sorry, I'm really slow. You guys know that. By now, if you don't know, I'm slow. I'm a slow gamer. All right, let's see. Check summary. Let's see these stats. Attack is 72 and speed is 80. Level 26, by the way. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. His attack is insane. And his speed is even crazier. This is an absolute unit, dude. His attack and speed is insane. I'm excited to use him. I, I know. Holy shit, it's a fucking Corviknight. We have a Corvus Squire, though. I don't want to catch you. But it's a fucking Corvus, like a fully evolved Corviknight. Dude. I really wish that we could see your uh, your shiny. I still don't know what it looks like. I'm really hoping it's like a red. I feel like a red could look really cool. Like it has some potential. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna improve our bike once more. I wonder should we do a rally? Should we do the race? The rally race thing? What do y'all think? I mean I guess it doesn't really matter, because it's not a live stream. I'm not getting I'm not getting answers immediately, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm doing it. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. But I still wanna upgrade my bike. We're gonna do that at least. I might do the rally like off screen, potentially. I just wanna see, uh, I, w I wanna see what it does. Like if it gives you a lot of the watts, cause that would be pretty big if it does. Hello? Please let me get this apple, I'm assuming. No, it's a big mushroom. Damn, you can get some fucking money if you just, you know, just collect shit. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. A wishing piece, what the fuck do I do that? To attract wild Dynamax Pokemon. What do we do with that? Outrage, oh my god, that's such a power move. Bulk up, whatever, Venom Drench, whatever. Alright, we improving the bike again. Come here, talk to me. When do I get the thing that lets me, um... Wait, what if we do a makeover? Does that change how we look on the bike? I, I don't want to spend it. I'm sorry. I'm going to change the color of your outfit. 
Then why not make it so the color matches your Corvus Squire there? How about a flying type color? Yeah, why not? I'm sure it would it would be cooler. Oh no, dude. The fuck? <laughs> why is everyone sucking my Corvus Squire's cock? Is he in the front? Oh, he's in the front. That's why. Okay. Let's put let's put Thievil in the front. Maybe he's got better colors. Whoops, sorry. Uh, maybe he's got better cover colors. The dark type color, yes. That shit should be sick, right? Um, bro, this is like poison type. D what? What? These are garbage. <laughs> These are all garbage. Uh, what about poison type? Maybe poison type looks cool. I just want I just want a cool looking thing. Also, why do I have to do this? Like why do I have to put them in the front? That's like really annoying. Makeover. Yeah. Toxel, yes. Uh oh, you can pick both, electric or poison. We're doing poison. I wanna see what that looks like. Bruh, this is grass. This is grass, bro. You don't know your colors. Are am I dumb? These these are the worst Like they don't make sense. This is ugly as shit. All right, fuck it. We're staying with. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's do one more. Let's put maybe Meowth would look good because he's Steel type. I will right, we'll do two more. I don't really want to take a chance with the the water because I think it's just not going to look amazing. So we're gonna check the fire type. See if that one looks okay. Red and blue. I mean, it looks a lot like the Rotom one. From what I remember, I always keep pressing that wrong button. Um, Alright, one last one. We'll put Meowth in the front and see what Steel looks like. Because maybe Steel... Maybe Steel would look good with blue. Who knows? Yeah, we'll, we'll try it. That I like. That's like a dark type. Dude, come on. <laughs> come on. That's not even... That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't, I mean, I guess it kind of does, because, like, I guess you could see, like, steel with being, like, a darker color. But to me, this is dark type. This is not really steel type. Whatever. I'm with it, though. This, this one definitely looks the best. Took us 20 tries to get to this one fucking color. I feel like there's something over here. Maybe there's not. A Lucario. There's a fucking Lucario. That's what's over here. Oh, my God. Fuck off. Don't chase me. Do not chase me. Dude, I'm getting shield tonight. Midnight. Nope. Nope. Yeah, don't don't even try that. I'm getting shield at midnight. I'm so excited. I'm literally like I'm I'm definitely I'm definitely leaving like at eleven fifty to go grab my copy and I'm gonna start working on filling out the decks. I'm really conflicted on if I do um a Nuzlocke. I could always make a new account for just the Nuzlocke alone, and I might just do that. It's very tempting. I might, I might end up doing that. <sighs> Come on, man. What the fuck? Holy shit. Your crit is insane. That was insane damage. I'm proud of you, Stunky. I actually like you a lot. If, if this was Sinnoh, I would maybe have you on my team. Where are we going again? <laughs> are we going this way? I feel like this is the way that we're supposed to go. Did I ever interact with this? We did. Okay. I'm gonna keep on moving. I'm gonna probably do some raids with uh, with some friends. I don't know. I, I feel like they're not really gonna be like intense enough to like be like something like, Oh, let's record this. It would be really cool. So those probably won't happen. But if they are intense, you know, maybe I'll do something. Voltsy. Oh my god, it's a Snorlax. Holy shit. A Drapion. Dude, we are seeing actual like insanely strong PogChamp mons worth being on a team if i wasn't doing like a galler only run thing Ooh, a lepa berry only four it looked like more than four fell i'm gonna keep it a buck two lepa berries and two citrus berries okay yeah it definitely looked like more than four did i see something shiny i thought i did uh it definitely looked like more than four fucking things fell but whatever it looked like at least six 
All right, so we go in. I don't really want to run through the grass. Oh my god, it's a right on. Right horn, right on. I think I think that one's right on. That one's right horn. Okay, the frames dropping a little bit. <laughs> the frames dropped a little bit there, and here they're not really doing like super hot. Wait, was that an item? I could have swore I saw one. Gar Dude, seeing Gyarados on the water is so fucking sick. And seeing Inke above it is just funny. But seeing a Gyarados just... Oh shit, it's Lanoon. Dude, it's, it's so cool seeing the Pokemon uh, in the wild area. I don't care what anyone says, the wild area is fucking sick. I do really like it. What are you... Noibat! Oh, so cute! I love the wild... I could spend forever in the wild area just exploring, honestly. This shit's so cool. Is that a house? There's a fucking house over there. Let's go see what's going on at the house. I don't think this is where we have to go. Like, to the house, I don't think. Oh, that was so funny. It was so tiny. <laughs> uh... I also like that you could totally avoid the Pokemon pretty- Dude, that scared the shit out of me. I thought, was, I thought that was two Pokemon that just appeared and I was like, what the fuck? What is this? Is it another daycare? What would you like to do? Okay, nothing. Go away. Hello, this is the wild area branch of the Pokemon Nursery. We're just as capable as the nursery on Route 5. Don't worry about a thing. Uh, no. I won't be. That's cool. So I have a little nursery here. On the wild area, so you don't even really have to, like, go and do, um... You don't have to go to Route 5, because you can be bullying here. It's cool, it's cool. We got the little stony wilderness. A little bit of item under it. Let's see, a bag of stardust? I, we take those, we take those. There's so many raids to do, it's actually insane. Like, there's a lot of these things. I know these ones only give you the, the Watt, and that's it. But I think that they could also become raids. I assume that they could be raids. I'm, dude. That's my favorite. That's like the thing I'm most excited for, at this point, is just doing raids with friends. That shit sounds like it's gonna be so much fun. Hey, you can make a lot of money here. Oh my god, this place is beautiful, dude. Jesus Christ, I, I love this game. I don't know if you guys can tell. This, this is easily one of my favorite- Oh my god, you're so cute! I love Cub Chew. I love this game. <sighs> this game is just so fucking... So good. Visually, it's really good. I'm not gonna, like, say there's not any flaws. Like, don't get me wrong. Oh my god, two Sneasels. You might be one of the first things I shiny on. Um, like, don't get me wrong. This game has a ton of flaws. Um... And if I want to be completely honest so far, it seems like the story just doesn't exist. Obviously, the graphics could be, like, a little bit better. They're not perf- Are you- Are you the Shellos Evolution? Gastrodon or whatever? Um, the graphics could be better. Who are you? A cub Chew and a Sneasel. Yeah- Oh my god, he's so- He's so slow! Uh, the graphics could be better. Uh, the story, pretty much non-existent. There's some things that I think, like, quality of life changes that could be better. But for what the game offers and gives us, it, it totally outweighs these things. And it's putting it near, like, near the top of my list of favorite Pokemon games at the moment. This shit is just so fun. Alright, let me get off the bike. There's, there's a lot of good changes that came with this game that I cannot complain about at all. One berry. I saw three. I see three more. Come on, like, that could be accurate. That would be nice if that was, like, an accurate... No Ooh, you ugly fuck. Do not like you. Let's send in, um, Bearskuda. Let's see what he can do real quick. I'm really excited to see the damage that this man's gonna output. Wait, what level is this thing? I remember this thing being bulky when it, like, you know, wasn't even evolved. So I'm kind of curious, like, at 26, so we're the same level. If we use Aqua Jet only does 40. This is double the damage. Let's see. If we use Dive, how much is it gonna do? I don't think it's gonna do like enough to kill it, but I do want to see like with how much attack power and how bulky I remember these things being. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We take those for sure, for sure. 
Good lord, dude. He's. I feel like he's gonna be uh, one of our, our the best mods on the team. I don't see me changing him because we don't have any other water types that I would want on the team. Um, unless we just don't want a water type later, which is also a potential thing. Because uh, I know what I want on my team. Like I know I want Impidimp finally, like fully evolved. I want the pseudo fully evolved. <coughs> Sorry, uh, I want. A bug that I'm not going to say because we haven't seen it. Um, fully evolved. Toxel fully evolved. Our boy Scorbunny fully evolved, obviously. And then the sixth mon. I can't remember what it would be. So, okay, we beat him. Did he drop the berries? Do we get to keep the berries? Because I saw him drop some shit. Does that give us berries at least or no? No. Oh wait, we got one. We got a fucking Quaylot. A Quaylude. <laughs> uh, carefully picked. These herbs can add a fragrant. Okay, cool. So those are good for uh, your... Your, um... What should we call it? Curry decks. Damn, this episode... I mean, no, I guess we can't say we didn't do anything. I think half this episode was at least doing the gym. And the other half has pretty much been the wild area. Just exploring it. Because, you know, when we first came here, we just flew through it. We didn't explore it, like, at all. So, this is me making up for that. For us literally just, like, flying right through it. This place... Oh my god, is this the dragon gym leader? Dude. Dude, this has to be the dragon one, right? No, I dude, I thought he was going to be, like, the last one we fought. Are they making him the fourth one? Or do we go in here just like we did with the the fire one, but then we go somewhere else like we like, you know, we like kind of explore in other places. That's my take. That's my take. So we come up here and then they're going to make us go to six to go here and then go up here. And then we come back here. <laughs> And maybe we do it, or maybe we go this way and do that way. I don't really know how this one's going to work. I do not believe they're going to make us fight the dragon one as our fourth gym. There's just no way they would not do that. There's another berry tree. I do want berries, and I don't know how to evolve. Uh, I No, sorry, let me rephrase that. I know how to evolve and get an alchemy from, like, Kremlin or whatever the fuck it's called. This thing right here. Let's look for it because I shouldn't say right here. So we have an Applin. I want to know how that evolves. Um, but we want to look at Milsery, right? So I know how to evolve it. I just don't know how to get the item to evolve it. Because all you literally have to do is get a candy, apparently. And then you just, you know, do this. And then... Bow. I think then you evolve. Because that's, that's what I saw online. Because I was looking up. And uh, I don't know how to get the candies. That that hasn't been revealed yet, oddly enough. I'm sure Serebii will figure it out today. And then I'll know. But at the moment, I literally have no idea. And I'm sure you also find Wild Alcremie eventually. We're literally like only half... Not even halfway through the game yet. No, actually we're probably like... We're probably like halfway or a third. I would say. A Gym Challenger. Allow me to check your Gym Badges. The Grass Badge, the Water Badge, and the Fire Badge. It's confirmed that you've defeated the three gym leaders, including the leader of Moda Stoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. I appreciate it. Oh, look, it's Bead. I should have healed. I feel like he's going to battle us. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way that he can look the champion in the eyes. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. I don't know about that one, Bead. Here, just take the gym badges I've already won. Thank you, Challenger Bead. I can confirm that you have re the required badges. Anyways, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Doug, I like how he like tries to make himself seem really important, but the chairman did not remember him at all. I was there. I overheard the conversation. He don't know you. He really doesn't. <laughs> he just endorsed you. That's it. Like He doesn't actually know who you are. Damn, this place is fucking pretty. We're using this in the next thumbnail. 
I don't think like the town reveals are that much of a spoiler. I could be really spoiling other things, so I hope I don't really get any complaints about that. Like I could be spoiling new mons, which I haven't done. I kind of spoiled the gym leaders in one of the thumbnails, but then I changed it back. Um, I don't know. I feel like towns are not really spoilers. Like, what, what do you want us to do as a thumbnail? <laughs> you know, there's only so much that we could do, but we just hit an hour. I think it's about time for me to wrap this up. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, hit sub if you're new, hit the bell notification so you know when I upload my next video and all the future ones. Answer the question of the day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.